I'd like to call the Gurney Village Board regular meeting of July 11th, 2016 to order. Roll call, please, Donna. Bahamas. Present. Hood. Here. Wilson. Here. Ross. Here. Garner. Here. Thorstenson. Here. All present. All right, thank you and welcome. And please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. First up is public comment. If anyone would like to address the board, you can come to the microphone and state your name. If not, you'll have another opportunity at the end of the meeting. So I'm going to move on to the consent agenda. Do I have a motion to approve? Second. Motion by Trustee Balmas. Second by Trustee Garner. Roll call, please, Donna. Balmas? Aye. Hood? Yes. Wilson? Aye. Ross? Aye. Garner? Aye. Thorstenson? Yes. All ayes. All right, motion carries. Patrick, please read the consent agenda into the record. Item number one, approval of the minutes from the June 20th, 2016 and June 27th, 2016 Village Board meetings. Item number two, approval of ordinance 2016-46, adopting a pension funding policy for the Village of Gurney. Item number three, approval of resolution 2016-06, establishing certain property of the Village of Gurney to be surplus. Item number four, Approval of awarding the fire station number two apparatus floor replacement project to LNA Crystal at a cost of $38,500. At number five, approval of awarding the 2016 server refresh and storage expansion project to the low bidder CDWG at a cost of $51,026.13. At number six, approval of awarding the 2016 network equipment and maintenance project to the low bidder CDWG at a cost not to exceed $72,000. At number seven, approval of payroll for period ending June 25, 2016, in the amount of $764,193.30. At number eight, approval of payroll transfer journal for period ending June 25, 2016, in the amount of $756,799.81. At number nine, approval of bills for period ending July 11, 2016, in the amount of $1,095,858.27. Thank you, Patrick. Do you have a motion to approve so the consent agenda as rendered the record? Motion by Trustee Garner, second by Trustee Ross. Roll call, please, Donna. Thomas? Aye. Hood? Yes. Wilson? Aye. Ross? Aye. Garner? Aye. Thorstenson? Yes. All ayes. All right. Motion carries. Next is petitions and communications, and we are delighted tonight uh, to recognize the uh, achievement of Bennett Josephson and Joseph Knight on achieving the rank of Eagle Scout. So if you want to meet me down front. All right, I have plaques. All right, so Bennett, on behalf of the entire village and village board, we are very, very honored to uh, have a new plaque with our new logo on it. Ooh. <laughs> I think this is the first one. Um, on your achievement of Eagle Scout, and I know as part of achieving Eagle Scout, you had to do a project. Mm -hmm. Tell us about it. All right, um, for my project, um, I did a favor for the church that our troop has been hosted by. We've been hosted by their church for over 100 years, yeah, 102 this year, I think, and um, I did a food drive for them, which it's a Gurney Community Church, Town Hall Plain. Um, I did a food drive for them, which kind of filled up their pantry, like, I think 1.5 times over, so it was pretty good. And do you have family here supporting you? Yeah, my parents here, Craig and Cindy Josephson, and my grandparents here, Nancy and Paul Josephson. Well, again, congratulations. All right, Joseph, I'm just going to squeeze between you. All right, again, on behalf of the entire village and the village board, we are very, very proud of your achievement of Eagle Scout, and you have a plaque. So you're the second one with the new Gurney logo. We're very, <laughs> I'm very excited about the new logo. Um, and you want to tell us about your project? I know a lot of work. All right, so um, 
I rebuilt a deck and a uh, the fencing around the church, my grandmother's church actually, uh, right on Gages Lake, the first community church. And yeah, the the boards were all rotted out and everything, so we just replaced it so it was safer. Yeah, I got my my mom, dad here, my little brother, and my girlfriend. <laughs> okay, well, congratulations. All right, keep up the good work. Keep up the good work. Expect great things from you. Next up is reports, which we have none, right? Correct. No old business? Correct. All right, then we're going to move on to new business. First item is approval of Ordinance 2016. 47. 47, amending Article 6, entitled Automated Traffic Enforcement Systems of the Gurney Municipal Code. Patrick? Sure. Uh, so back in December 2017, we adopted an ordinance that allowed the use of red light cameras in the village. And uh, we had municipal code language pertaining to those cameras. This is really just a clean up. Uh, Phil Burnell, who handles the program, worked with Attorney Winter on this. So there's just some couple minor changes that I'll go through here quick. Um, extending the petition time frame, extending the time frame to pay a ticket, clarifying that an issuing officer, not a technician, must review the video and make a determination of the violation, and then removing the certified uh, mail requirement. Uh, so those were the only four changes of this. Like I said, it's just uh, reflecting in, in the municipal code uh, currently how we operate uh, the program. Right. So just clean up of policy just reflect up actual practices. Yep. Okay. Questions from the trustees? Make a motion to approve. Motion by Trustee Balmas. Second. Second by Trustee Thornton. Roll call, please, Donna. Balmas? Aye. Hood? Yes. Wilson? Aye. Ross? Aye. Garner? Aye. Thorstenson? Yes. All ayes. All right, motion carries. Item number two, approval of awarding phase one of the Milwaukee Avenue sidewalk project to the low bidder Schroeder and Schroeder at a cost not to exceed $118,000. Sure, uh, so the engineering division went out to bid on this project. As you remember, we had $175,000 in the budget for sidewalk improvements this year. Um, this stretch would be from, if you extended Darlene Road um, to Route 21 and then south all the way to Washington Street. Got the bids back. The low bid was $74,000 over what we had in the budget. Uh, so we went back, took a look at it, talked to Six Flags, uh, proposing to do it in two phases. So um, with the Pace bus now serving the employee entrance coming up from the, the south there, um, both the village and Six Flags thought it made more sense to take care of that northern half this fiscal year. So what we're proposing is uh, to do that northern half this fiscal year at a cost not to exceed $118,000 and then we will uh, budget uh, for the second phase, which would be from Six Flags employee entrance south to Washington Street uh, next fiscal year in the capital improvement plan. This also has uh, in this project just to pour two concrete pads at the pace drop-offs on Washington Street too, because right now when people are getting off the pace bus or getting off into dirt and mud, so. Just getting the pace bus to go to the employee entrance was a huge accomplishment. It took quite a while, but we finally got it done. But the walking, it really is more dangerous on that curve. So this is good to get at least that part portion done. Questions from the trustees? Do I have a motion to Make approve? Motion. motion by Trustee Second. Bonner. Second by Trustee Wilson. Right. Okay. Roll call, please, Donna. Thomas? Aye. Hood? Yes. Wilson? Aye. Ross? Aye. Garner? Aye. Thorstenson? Yes. All ayes. All right, motion carries. Um, before I call for adjournment, uh, you have a new person that we um, updated the personnel policy, so we want you to review it. And any questions, contact Christine. If not, we will be taking a vote on this at the next meeting. And we do have the Urban Land Institute in town all day tomorrow. Um, and I know some of you may have signed up for certain pieces of it. Um, so just a reminder, it's going to be really kind of an exciting day to do something that different with very prestigious professionals in town to help us uh, planning the East Grand Corridor. That's all I have. So do I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Motion by Trustee Balmas, second by Trustee Garner. All in favor say aye. Aye. aye.